Hi, my name is Mark Joseph, and I'm a South Florida family law attorney. And here is five more things you need to know about final hearings and family law. Before we begin, I ask that you like, subscribe down below, and hit the notification bell to receive further updates of any of our videos. Trials via Zoom. As of right now, with everything going on, the courthouses are largely closed with very rare exception of cases. So in an effort to make sure these family law cases are still moving, courts are now having final hearings. However, they're being done via Zoom. For those who may not be familiar, Zoom is basically video conferencing software in which parties can essentially move and communicate via live stream. And um, everybody's in little screens and um, have to have microphones and the like. And basically, it's just one big meeting. The court systems have gone ahead and utilized this software to run all their cases and their hearings. This is a huge departure from the way it used to be, where you'd have in-person hearings and you'd have the bench and you'd have the judge, sometimes a gavel, you have each party on each side and you'd have your stack of papers. It's, it's, it's largely different. So with this change, it definitely creates a much more unique experience in terms of going to court. And it's definitely something that everybody has gotten to, had to get used to. Preparations for hearings are much different. With everything being done via Zoom and these Zoom hearings, the way you prepare for court hearings are much different. While typically you'd bring your copies of papers and you'd give the, the opposing side their coffee, sometimes before the hearing, sometimes emailed before, um, there's a special procedure in each county. Some counties vary, you know, they don't vary too much, but there are differences in which you would have to submit your evidence or potential evidence to the court prior to the final hearing. I strongly suggest you contact your local judicial circuit, the, all of them have websites, look into them and see what specific rules are there. And for your specific judge, both state and local rules have changed. During these unprecedented times, both the Florida Supreme Court as well as the local chief judges of every judicial circuit has had to elicit or create separate rules or new, new rules to address everything that's going on. That being said, a lot of the rules in each judicial circuit has changed. I strongly suggest that you go on each judicial circuit website, or more specifically, judicial circuit where your case would be, and to make sure you understand those rules. Those rules wildly vary, but you want to make sure you understand them. Because despite it being very new, and it being something that you may not have had to deal with, let's say, times before this, it is something that most courts and most judges will adhere to and will require you to adhere to. The equipment and environment has also changed. With the implementation of Zoom hearings, now, essentially, where your courtroom is, is anywhere you set up. That's a good thing if, let's say, you are a party who's operating miles and miles away from the courthouse, possibly out of state and the like. You don't have to physically appear in court anymore. However, the environment and the equipment you use to appear at these hearings, the Zoom hearings, is definitely important. Keep in mind that Zoom does have a mobile phone app and you can actually use Zoom via your phone. However, for your final hearing, it is strongly discouraged. One of the reasons is that Zoom, despite being a platform that you can use on multiple devices, should really be used mainly on the laptop. And the reason why I say this is, when you're doing a final hearing, you may need to present evidence, much of the time, which is paper evidence. Hopefully you've complied with the local rules and the state rules in terms of producing it, but now you have to present it in the Zoom hearing, the final hearing. In doing this, you have to keep in mind that 
Many devices do not have the screen share feature. That's going to be the feature you're going to need to make sure that when you're describing the item, when you're bringing, when you're trying to present or get your documents introduced into evidence, to let make sure everybody sees it. You know, while you may get some leniency in some circumstances to just kind of put a piece of paper up to the camera, the more appropriate way is to allow for screen share. So that being said, it is very important to make sure that any equipment you use gives you that feature. The other part to keep in mind is that your environment is also important. While you're in court and most times at a final hearing, it's usually just you, the judge, and the other party, possibly some witnesses, your environment is anywhere you can be. So while it may be convenient to be doing your Zoom final hearing while you're in your car, while you're walking around, while you're at the store, obviously you'd be strongly discouraged. You know, we want to make sure in these hearings that you're not distracted, that there's other things not happening around you, and that you can hear and understand what's going on. A suggestion would largely be is just to make sure you truly reserve that time, make sure you're seated in a comfortable space. It doesn't have to be similar to a courtroom, but in a comfortable safe space. Make sure that your background is clean and free from any cut clutter or anything that would be distracting. Of course, the device you're using, hopefully a laptop, has a microphone and webcam, and that you understand how to use these devices. This would make an already stressful situation that much less difficult. The most important thing to know about final hearings in family law is that we're in this together. These have been unprecedented times. And just as much as this situation has hit us as individuals, it has hit the court system and the legal profession in general. The lawyers, the Florida bar, the judges and court system have all been working together to find the most efficient way to get through this. It should be noted that while you're doing your final hearing and you're dealing with the stress of it, whether it's just a divorce case, paternity, child support, whatever it may be, that the courts will be more understanding. The lawyers or the other parties typically have been understanding. In my experience, it's been a much more cordial affair because we're all in this together. But we also want to make sure that we're prepared for this. And if you or someone you know would like more help with this, feel free to contact our office and we'll set you up for a consultation. And please, don't forget to also like, subscribe to our videos, and hit that bell below. My name is Mark Joseph. Thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,